It's only fitting that the greatest basketball player in history, Michael Jordan, would star in the biggest basketball film of all time. His Ernest plays himself in Space Jam as he comes out of retirement to save the Looney Tunes from being kidnapped by giant aliens. But not all superstars have been successful when they gave Hollywood a shot. Let's take a look at NBA stars who tried acting but simply were not successful. Let's begin with Shaquille O'Neal. Despite the faulty memories of many moviegoers, there is no movie called Shazam starring Sinbad. It's actually called Kazam and the star is Shaq. But why would Shaquille O'Neal make a movie where he played a rapping genie who dressed like MC Hammer? Well, according to Shaq himself, if someone said, hey, here's seven million bucks, come in and do this genie movie, what was he supposed to say? No. So of course he did it. It might be the worst movie an NBA player has ever made. And if Shaq had three wishes, I'm sure he would probably use one to either make more money or simply wish the movie never happened. Look, not to pick on Shaquille O'Neal. His acting is just simply bad. But what choice do we have after this other performance in the movie Steel, a disastrous film from 1997 which could have ended the whole genre of superhero movies before it began turns out Shaq is a weapons designer who makes a suit out of armor out of junkyard steel and takes out a notorious bad guy jude nelson thankfully he never has to fire a gun from the free throw line or never had to do it throughout his nba career or nelson probably would have taken over the world. Future Avengers Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson co-star would feature big three MVP Darius Miles in the heist film about stealing the SAT. Of course, it's a little odd. Since Miles went directly to the NBA from high school, he never had to take the test at all. Miles is nothing special and doesn't once do his fist to temples celebration but just like his time with the Clippers, he's not the reason this collection of talent delivers such a disappointing product. If you want to see Miles and his buddy, Quint Richardson, together, they make a cameo appearance in Van Wilder, which also features Michael Oluwakandi's only cinematic role. Now, this one's going to be really interesting. In a role originally imagined for Andre the Giant, Washington Wizards big man, George Muirson plays a Romanian or orphan discovered by Billy Crystal's talent agent. This must exist in the world without professional basketball because it's unclear who would see Muirson and think, hey, he's an actor and not an NBA center. Muirson speaks as he is storing potatoes in his cheeks for the oncoming Romanian winner. They also call the film simply not good at all. And we close out with this old school classic, You Want a Man. It's truly a terrible film about a disgraced UBA star who goes undercover in the women's league, which of course is called WUBA. He takes the opportunity to become a better person, but not before sexually harassing his teammates and exposing himself by losing his wig while dunking. Of course, there are some NBA cameos, including the Kimbi Matumbo playing Coiner, whose main job is to look disgusted and confused when he sees his teammates stripped naked in anger. We say the film has not aged well, but even in 2002, critics base the tired premise with only 10% viewing approval.